Hello students and welcome back to the video lecture series of web programming. Today's topic is CSS text properties. I am your instructor Ms. Shruti Rawal. So let us start with uh, text properties. The first text property that we are going to see is text alignment. So basically text alignment is a property which is used to set horizontal or uh, you can say vertical alignment of your text. right? So basically a text can horizontally be aligned uh, center, right, left or it can be justified. Okay. So let us take an example of horizontal alignment. Here you can see that in my HTML body I have three heading. Okay. So H1, H2 and H3. I want to give different alignment to all three. So for H1 the property name of text alignment that is horizontal text alignment is text hyphen align. Do not make a spelling mistake because this is a predefined property that you need to memorize. So text hyphen align is the property name and the possible values are center left and right. So here you can see for the first heading I have given text align center. For the second heading I have given text align left and for the last uh, heading I have given text align right. So what will be the output? Yes. So the first heading will be center aligned, second heading will be left aligned and the third heading will be right aligned. Now by default if you do not give any text alignment the horizontal alignment value will be left in HTML for every element. right? So that is the by default alignment value. If you want to explicitly change the alignment for the text you can give text hyphen align property. Now uh, I told you that in text alignment there are two types of text alignment. The first one is horizontal alignment left, right and center. Whereas you can vertically also give uh, alignment. The property name for vertical alignment is vertical hyphen align. For horizontal alignment it is text hyphen align. Whereas for vertical alignment it is vertical hyphen align and it sets the vertical alignment of the text right so your text can be at top it can be uh, in the middle or it can be in the bottom right so here again you have different uh, so what i have i done i have a paragraph and inside the paragraph i have an image right so what i want to do is uh, i want to write a text uh, after my image but I am aligning the image vertically. The first uh, text alignment for the first image is top. So the text that will be displayed af immediately after the image will be aligned in the top side of the image. For the second uh, image, the text that I am writing in the paragraph that I have aligned middle and for the third image, I have aligned my text bottom. Right. So here you can see I have used the class selector concept where I have given class uh, attribute value for. So here you can see that uh, I have four image and uh, for the first image there is a by default al alignment. For the th three next images I have given class right. So the class attribute value for the first image is top. The class attribute value for the second image is uh, middle and the class attribute value for the third image is bottom. So what I need to do is I want to align the text for the first image on the top side for the second image in the middle and for the third image on the bottom. So what is the output? This is the output. The first image has its uh, by default alignment that is its bottom alignment. The next image has a top alignment of text. If you can see the image and the text, the text is basically aligned on the top hand side. For the next image, the image is aligned on the middle portion of the image and for the last image is aligned, sorry, the text is aligned on the image in the bottom portion. Why? Because I have given this uh, alignment, right? The next is uh, CSS text decoration property. So for CSS text decoration, you can see that I have different headings over here. So for H1, what is the text decoration I have given overline? And what do you mean by overline? This is the overline. If you can see, 
that I have a text and uh, over my text there will be a line. The next is h2 and for h2 the text decoration is line through. So when you want to have a horizontal line above the text you will give text hyphen decoration which is the property name and value over line that was the first one. When you want a line to go through the text right you want to display that the text has been cut in such a case the property name is text hyphen decoration but the property value is line hyphen through that is line through and it will be displayed in such a way uh, such that the text is cut the next is very popularly used uh, text decoration is underline many a times we want to underline the text so for that the text decoration property is uh, underline so here you can see the text is underline now many a times it is also a possibility that uh, for example you know that if you use an anchor tag that is a tag the hyperlinks by default format is it is blue in color and it has an underline now if you want to discard this underline what you can do you can take this element that is a and you can give your text decoration none none stands for no decoration so the default decoration which was underlined to your text in hyperlink will be discarded. So here you can see I have given two different examples. The first hyperlink is your by default format which uh, HTML follows which is blue in color and it has an underline. But for the last uh, hyperlink you can see that I have given class none and I have accessed that over here a dot none. So what happens I am giving text hyphen decoration none. It means the underline which was the by default format for a hyperlink is now discarded and it is displayed in blue color but it does not have an underline. Right. So these are the different text decoration properties. The next is text spacing. For text spacing I have different uh, uh, spacing properties. The first is indentation. Now what do you mean by text indent? text indent property is used to specify indentation to the first line of the paragraph or text right so we know that if you are paragraphing uh, your whole essay all the first line of the different paragraphs are indented they are slightly uh, indented to the right hand side and then they are started right so you may give what amount of space do you want from which your particular first line will get started. The next spacing property is letter spacing. So there will be a by default space between two letters in your text if you want to increase the letter space or you want to decrease the space between two letters. Then you can use this letter spacing property. Uh, so there, there may be positive values which increases the letter spacing property can have a positive value as well as negative value. Positive value will increase the space between your letters. Negative values will uh, in contrast decrease the space between your letters. The next is your line height. So if you want to specify the uh, space between two lines that line height property can be used. Right. This can only be possible if you have multi line in your uh, text. Right. So if you have a single line, there is no use of line height because you don't have any reference. The next property is word spacing. Again, this is possible if your text consists of multiple words, right, which are separated by space. So there will be a by default uh, space which uh, HTML is providing between two words. If you want to increase or decrease that word space, then you can go for word spacing property. Now let us see each of them individually. The first is text indentation. So uh, if you are having this text indentation property, here you can see that uh, I have a paragraph which I have written and I have uh, specified my text indent property. The property name for text indentation is text hyphen indent. That is not indentation. The property name is text hyphen indent and you can specify the values in pixel uh, also you can specify in percentage I have specified in pixel 50px so what happens you can see that here there is a space 
uh, before you start your paragraph that space is of 50 px that I have explicitly defined for my paragraph right so the first line of my paragraph will start after 50 px of space the next property is letter spacing for letter spacing uh, it will be the space between the alphabets all the alphabets so here you can see that I have two uh, headings h1 and h2 I have given separate letter spacing for both of them I told you you can go for positive letter spacing value also you can go for negative letter spacing value positive spacing value will increase the space between the letters negative value will decrease the space between the letters for h1 I have written letter hyphen spacing so that is the property name and value I have written 3px that is a positive value so between the alphabets I will have 3 pixel of space for h2 I have specified minus 3px so there is a negative value and they will come closer right so here you can see for h1 you can see that the inter letter space has been increased and that is 3px whereas for h2 the inter letter space has been decreased and that is the negative value is minus 3px the next is line height now I have already told you line height it means you must have multiple line and uh, then you can specify the line height property so here you can see for two different paragraphs so I have a by default line height then I have uh, uh, two different line height for my paragraphs right so for small line height I have given class uh, name that is small and there is a class name big so p dot small that means it will refer to the second paragraph and the line height properties name is line hyphen height and I have given by default it will take in pixel 0.7 and the next line height for the last paragraph that is whose class is big I have written p dot big that means the line height is 1.8 so here you can see this is the by default line height where I have not specified that in paragraph which HTML has it as its own then I have given uh, 0.8 it means which is a smaller line height so it will decrease the by default line height which the HTML gives and the last is big it means it will increase the line height right so that is 1 point this is a 1.8 spacing line height this is a 0 0.7 spacing and this is the by default spacing for line height right the next is word spacing now for word spacing I told you you must have minimum two words safe spa space separated then only you can see that there is space between the words again in word spacing you can either specify positive value which will increase the inter word space or you can go for negative value which will decrease the inter word space here again I have two headings h1 and h2 for h1 I have given positive value the property name is word hyphen spacing and the property value is uh, either in pixel on percentage here I have given 10 px positive 10 px for h2 I have given a word hyphen spacing value minus 5 px that is I have given negative value so here you can see that inter word space it means the space between this and is and the space between is and heading so this space has been increased the first uh, heading consists of 10 px between different words whereas here the inter word space has been decreased so it it has been uh, portrayed such as there is no space between them right so this is heading that is written simultaneously you think so but instead it is not uh, it is having space but explicitly we have given negative value of space so the inter word spacing has been decreased right so this was uh, about text spacing and this was about all the text properties that uh, we can give and this was all about today's lecture thank you